course, yes. Well, we shall get into it indeed. Best of seven. And it's going to be Gale Force Esports versus Flipside Tactics, and that might be an immediate attack. And it is yes, going it is. to be KDOT with the follow up. Flipside Tactics failing to push the ball into the corner will be punished. Get up, always the man first on the scene where the ball breaks free, barely beating Turbo Pulse into that one. Great start though for Gale Force, a poor piece of defending from Flipside. Plenty of time to knock out those kinks as we are into a best of seven and only 14 seconds into game one now. But every single ball that spills out at the edge of the box, it seems like K-Dop is always first on the scene. Gale Force have got something that I haven't quite seen since the old Swarm team, which I used to call the bleeding effect. It was the case of once they beat you once, they figure out your strategies and they beat you by more and more every single time. However, they are against Flipside Tactics, a team that has shown today just how good they are at adapting their play style because they have seen it all before and they have beat it all before. As we start off into what we're very used to seeing from European Rocket League end to end, Hard clears with the occasional knock on this time, courtesy of Marky Duda, followed by a dunk as well. Well left at the back there, Violent Panda with 90 boost to his name, did not need to pick up that 100 from the corner, instead leaving it in case a teammate would need it, and there it does get picked up right now. We're settling very firmly into what we expected to see with Mystic at the back, Kuxer and Marky up front, and this time the whiff from Kux does cause problems for Gale Force, and it will result in a goal. Chaos at the back for the tournament favorites. Yeah, this is exactly what you're waiting for. You don't usually get it this well, though, once you're going for ping pong gameplay. One mistake is exactly what you're looking for. That was about two or three convinced in, condensed into one. And that has tied us back up. Gale Force Esports will need to avoid mistakes like that against the most experienced LAN team in Rocket League. And I don't think any team will enjoy a silly goal like that quite as much as any team captain by Marky Duda. The uh, smile on his face is not a surprise to see after the ball ricochets off two defenders and falls right in front of their own net. But it was not him who was able to finish off the poo goal, as he would say. Mystic, his countryman, taking the credit. But now Gale Force seem to have been awakened. They have long had the possession in their favor. Now an interception coming in from Cox, and he follows up for off that side wall like he so often does. Mystic misses on the open net. It would have been tough to squeeze it into that corner that was presenting itself. The player of Mystic's caliber will be disappointed at his shot right there. Still opportunities available for them, though. But Flipside Tactics have held their rotations firm and used the side wall to get a cutting infield pass. Very unusual to see one of those. As flip side, much more full rotations we are seeing from them. As they attempt to keep pressing forward, they have done so. And Gale Force will be looking at the amount of boost that they still have as they send a lot of players together. Two players, though, committed to that ball. And they need to get oh. rid of it as an attempt to almost guillotine the ball into the net by Turbo Pulsar. Oh, Although there's going to be shot by from Marky the halfway point. And there's the KDOP in the way. Oh, Two my minutes word. remaining and we're still tied up. Second time that we've seen an extremely close shot from Marky, and the third try is the lucky one. Flipside take the lead. And determination in the face of the Flipside captain. Spotting the miss of his opponent, angling downward into the open net. 2-1, Flipside looking more solid than we've seen them all tournament, I would say. Except maybe the end of their series versus Diffuse Kids. If they can get play as well as they did in that series towards the end of it, then this will be a very, very close one. Flipside will also attempt to bait out a lot of Gale Force, who, once the ball is within their general oh, area, are genuinely happy shot. to take any sort of attack as Kuxir will take the open net into the palm of his hands and a little and smirk. throws the ball in. It's really good to see for Flipside fans. Kuxir is smiling, a happy Kux is a Cux that plays well. Flipside are looking loud, and we've not yet seen much animation from across the stage. Gale Force had the lead within 14 seconds, and since then it has crumbled. And of course, this is a best of seven, an even best of seven. No advantage here for either team going into the game. But backflip from Mystic does give a chance to Gale Force. Shot accuracy for Gale Force so far lacking. 
plenty of time, like we've said, to fix any kinks, but they will not want to be missing the ball or miss hitting their shots. That is one thing that they've been doing well all tournament. This would be the worst time for them to start failing on that front. Flip side continue to control the ball and contain Gale Force into their own half. Gale Force starting to uncharacteristically whiff the ball quite a few times than they would like. Because that's going to be a lovely negative angle shot, but too slow. Turbo Pulsar will see that one away as he's going to have to try slow. and put that one in. Nicely that is done. a huge goal. And now Gale Force have put themselves back within touching distance of this matchup. The pass infield from Violent Panda. Brilliant ground play from Turbo. Taking it past Cuxer. Some would say the best goalkeeper in the world. Turbo Pulsar, a phenomenal ones player. Knew exactly what to do in that situation. And now Gale Force are within one. 45 seconds remain. Very impressive indeed. That hitbox on the Octane, if you even hit it slightly on the edge, even if you have the majority of the ball on. From Kidop. Front, it will be very difficult, but Kuxair will open up the lead even further. Gale Force sending too many players forward, and they are caught. Gale Force have gifted Flipside two freebies, that being the second one. Kuxair, second time that he scored a wide open shot, this time from a Kidop whiff. So rare to see that. He just had such a solid performance in the semi-finals against Rogue, but nervous start for the Frenchman. The Gale Force member who recently lost the RLCS Grand Final by a single game to now his teammate for the weekend, Turbo Pulsa. Every member on this field, at least an RLCS Grand Finalist, that is the level of play that we are seeing today. Certainly nothing short of world class. The flip side with the stronger start and that Half volley wall clear for Mystic. Sentences Gale Force to a one game deficit. Now they need four wins, where Flipside only need three. As we go into game two, Flipside lead by one. Best of seven at DreamHack Summer 2017. Let's go. Gale Force will want to start to cut out the whiffs. They know that they practically gifted that game to Flipside Tactics and will not want to do it again. They find themselves a game down, but already leaving players down the middle part of the pitch. However, they do need better contact than that. Otherwise, Flipside Tactics will just shadow them, and that's oh going to be a lovely word. passing play. Marky Duda holding himself in the middle of the pitch, and he is found exquisitely by Kuxir. A lot of credit has to go to Mystic as well. First beating one member of Gale Force to the ball, then bumping K-Dop out of the corner, stealing his boost. Opening up the center of the field for Marky. And we'll be watching very closely to see who can find more success from the edge of the box. Will it be Marky or will it be Kadot? The two players in the field who love to sit there and wait for the ball to be passed to them the most. Marky has been shooting with purpose on day two of DreamHack. Top scorer, I believe, perhaps for the whole tournament, given how many goals he scored on stage. Although I do remember that uh, Gale Force had a crushing victory in a best of three, 19 to zero altogether. So if we take that game at the equation, because it is probably an outlier overall, then Marky probably top scorer, at least on the second day. There's going to be a follow up by Turbo Pulse. He decides to go for the next. He well goes played. for the K Dot pass, opening up the goal, making it bigger. K Dot with the finish. And that is huge for Gale Force. Could not afford for a replica of Game 2 where they kept falling behind. That's spot on by Turbo Posse. He realized that any shot from that distance would have got saved. So he sees Gate up downfield, passes the ball to his teammate, and now that we have a tie game here. Of course, Gate up was only downfield after recovering from a 50-50, but he continued the run. He knew that the pass was an option. Something that Rogue failed to do against Gale Force earlier. And something that I'm expecting to see a lot this series. These two teams, very adept counter-attackers. It's going to be pushed over into the corner. Mystic will try and get it away as both these teams... Oh, that's on target. Just Bar down and out, but it. gets dunked in. Kadop is there on time, pushing that straight in. Brute force is the answer. Like we keep saying, Kadop is always in this area. If the ball is spilling free, if it's bouncing around the six-yard box, he's always there to smash it in. I really feel like it's Kato versus Marky in that contest. But right now, Gale Force, for the first time, managed to put two pass flip side in a game. I do not know if they have played it all this weekend. I imagine that scrims may have occurred or ranked games may have been played between them, but I don't know if any results between these two teams 
And I do know that both teams will consider themselves the favorite. Confidence is at a premium. Oh my goodness. I think it was Marky firing wide from close range there. Panda resetting his flip, but it won't matter if he can't reach the ball. Post comes to the rescue once more. Flipside Tactics are going to try and get themselves back a launching shot. Toa Pulsar, forced to put that one up high, will invite Mystic, who just passes that straight back to Cux here. And Flipside Tactics, I believe their strategy has always been a domino effect of mistakes. Always trying to make their opponents just flail around somewhere in that defense and then take advantage and cause more and more mistakes until a goal is inevitably scored as they will continue to try and push forward to close down this one goal deficit. But Gale Force Esports, if they've shown us anything this weekend, is their ability to defend. Launching pass there by Kuxir, but Mystic. Too far away from him, especially when he is on low boost. So Kuxir will try yet again. This time, Marky did not be the target, but Turbo Pulsar has it red. And Kadop will take control of the ball. Violent Panda. Still looking around for it, but nothing available. And that's actually two players committed. Flipside Tactics can go on the counter-attack. Flipside needs to be so careful not to play into Gale Force's hands here. We have seen them demolish Rogue in a very controlled fashion, 3-0 to zero in the semi-final. And that was a series where they just sat back and let Rogue hit the ball at them. If Flipside falls into the same trap, I really don't see a comeback happening, at least in game two. But shots and center balls are happening for Flipside. This is, these are good things. If they can continue to contain Gale Force, will even Gale Force be able to stand against Flipside Tactics Attack? Well, keep an eye on that bottom right-hand side. Once the boost starts to go low, you'll know Flipside are ready to bite. As Kadop will attempt to follow that up. Final 70 seconds of this match. Still one goal is the difference as Cux gets off the side, but it will need to be followed up. And Mystic just pushing it into the other corner. Oh, as Gale Force have actually been into that. Kuxir gets it off. That's going to be an awkward bounce. And Turbo Pulsar well does read it. But still, Flipside Tactics have got their opportunity to move forward. But Violent Panda, ball was pretty much launched straight into him. And he will take control of the ball somewhat easily. Now Gale Force have another opportunity, but it will be blocked out. There's a lovely passing play. But both these teams so fast in the air. It's one of the reasons why boost control will be so important. Making sure that final player is completely boostless might mean a simple goal. It doesn't look like Gale Force are happy to sit back and let Flipside attack. Of course, they know for the entire Flipside Tactics Rocket League team history, they have been known as an offensive team, and they've struggled when teams put them on defense. So it looks like even though Gale Force might be stronger in defense themselves, they want to bring the game to Flipside, and it looks like they will bring the game to Flipside. Game two, now two goals separated, with only six seconds remaining. Barring a miracle, we will have a tie series. Yeah, flip side, they saw the mistake off the wall clearance with no contact, so they did get baited forward as soon as that happened. Unable to score, leaving their goal open, does not really make a difference. They needed to commit nonetheless. 2-1, 3-1, it's still a loss either way. So they tried to take it, and this is going to be Game number two to Gale Force Esports, and we are all tied up. Possible five games remaining here, Johnny. Yeah. And with teams at this caliber, very plausible that we go the distance. Yeah, I would certainly not be surprised to see at least four more games, as very often these best of sevens can finish four to two. Of course, the RLCS Grand Final just passed at a best of seven go all the way in the very last series. And I'm sure that all of the fans watching back home would want to see that as watching the best players in the world play five games of Rocket League. They've both already secured $12,000, another 8,000 to be won. Are the winner of this is Turbo Posa, uncharacteristically firing way wide on that shot. Gale Force do get the better start, even stealing small boost pads from Flipside's end. But Flipside do break free. Violet Panda actually looking for Turbo, who was lingering around that end of the field. Cux is going to use all the boosts just to confirm that he will get there first. Or oh, the fake out. Marky. But they will have to play it back and start yet again. But Gale Force, not a team like Diffuse Kids. They will challenge on that halfway line. Playstyle much closer to Northern Gaming than any other team. You can consider why, considering they do actually have parts of the Northern Gaming DNA in their ranks. 
Yeah, all of these top players in Europe are so used to playing with and against each other. It's no surprise that a team like Gale Force can combine forces and have immediate success. And of course, Coxter and Marky playing their first ever tournament with Mystic again, looking extremely solid. The class of talent here at DreamHack is certainly one of the best that we have ever seen in Rocket League. Perhaps only the lack of world champions Northern Gaming relegated to second place behind the RLCS. Devo and Remco not here alongside Turbo Pulsa, of course. Still Gale Force, just happy to take their oh. time as that launching long shot from Turbo Pulsa almost found the mark. Caleb okay, will look for a block. He almost got it. Turbo Pulsa, though. His rotations are something to be observed. That's great but pass. Maki Duda just can't quite reach it. You see why just their zero boost means zero chance. As that is going to be continuously placed end to end. Maki Duda wants to take his time. And you saw Kadop just backing off there, allowing Violent Panda to move in on the rotation. It's one of the more useful things about having one player central and two players either side of them. Allows you to cover a lot of space, especially when you know that a player on the opposing team has got to try and clear the ball, like Marky Duda was trying to do. Mystic does miss. Violent Panda will have to take over. I mean, Marky Duda. This will be Violent Panda. Putting that up high, Kadop will try to get there, but he will be convincingly beat by Kuxir. The pace, definitely very reminiscent of the oh. RLCS finals, and Kuxir. Really should have put that one into the back of the net. Yeah, there's been a couple of goals, one for each team, that really could have been closer to the goal. As Kuxer's shot not only missed the goal, but also took the ball wide to safety. But just look every time Flipside are in their end. We have Gale Force circling the edge of the field. With this halfway line, like vultures, picking up on any scraps that they can get. If Flipside give them anything, they're going to try and tear off a limb. Turbo Pulse coming from the blind spot nearly takes Marky out off guard. Now Panda is one versus three, but the demo from Turbo will level the playing field. We remain tied up here, not just in the series, but in game three. Yeah, but that was a huge demo as well. We've seen a lot of these players just try and loop themselves around the ball and get blocks whenever the defenders do try and clear. As Turbo actually does get relatively well beat. So Marky is going to allow to keep putting the pressure on. Violent Panda has got that up high and close to the wall, so Cooks, they can only hope to try and set up one of his teammates. We are still all tied oh, up at zero. That is a little bit too close. As Turbo Pulsar will put that one away and what a powerful clear that was. Mystic is by himself, but he commits to the ball, gets it up high, well played by Mystic. Turbo's in the net still. But they still need to get rid of this ball and Violent Panda is around. He can try and go for the follow-up and shut down by Kuxir. A key interception by Kuxir. Violent Panda looking to follow up on his own play. Not for the first time this tournament. As another 50-50 occurs, the Marky and KDOT battle. More personal on this occasion. 30 seconds remain. Yet to have a goal in game three. Both teams have had a 3-1 win in their favor. And the near post does come into play for flip side. Direct passes. So risky. And the passing play down the line, though. Far more safely done. Just like that. Blink and you will miss it. Straight into Marky Duda, who is just in position. We've seen Kuxir do it a couple of times. This time Marky does it. He is lingering around that backboard and just launches it into the net with a redirect. And like that, they could have just stolen game number three unless this offense does come out okay, big. Up. Tried to go the entire way, but Marky Duda had it red. And now Gale Force have to go the entire length of the pitch. Will they be able to do it? It's looking unlikely. Flipside Tactics grinded that match. So they never do that, but also whenever they are trying to turn around in defense, it's never more than in 45 degree increments. So they tend not to move, lose that much pace. It allows them to barrel forward and intercept those potential passing plays. As we are going to continue on here, Flipside Tactics have taken the lead in games and they will attempt to convert that into a championship victory. It's an uncharacteristically slow shot from Kuxer. We talked earlier about his Tekken prowess and how he can almost hit the jump key twice on his, on his PS3 controller so fast that there is almost no animation of the single jump. It just looks like he dodges from a standstill. But uh, 
He tries to make the pixel perfect shot. Second time that Coxer's missed on that read as the ball comes off the wall behind him. I'm surprised not to see Gale Force moving forward aggressively on those, even though it is Coxer that it's waiting in the back wall. Great challenge from Marky stopping K-Dot from the montage play. Yeah, the attempt at a Doom's Dish. Probably, I've actually seen that play way more than oh, I used to do, but Marky. a big block there by Marky, predicting the attempted challenge, exceptionally puts himself above the ball and turns it into the net. That is a huge dunk from the flip side captain. And I can see him mouthing Poogle into the team comms. He knows exactly what he has done. And that is score in a situation where he should really have no business scoring. This is really big. We've already seen Flipside's mentality be tested this tournament. Coming back from two games down and an overtime in game three against Diffuse Kids. Gale Force have yet to be tested. And if they do drop this game, they have to face triple match point for Flipside, the former world champions. And they've been caught out twice now in both these games, as that's going to be flicked over the top by Marky Duda. Don't know how much he knew about the oncoming player, but he will take that nonetheless. The goals that Gale Force are conceding have been very closely related to their head on challenges against Flipside Tactics. Got caught out last time by being convincingly beat by Kuxir, whilst Marky took the ball and slammed it into the net. This time around, Marky Duda predicting and dunking. So something we didn't expect to be that much of an issue is actually turning out to be a huge one for Gale Force. Just losing the challenges and end up conceding. Violent Panda is so far having quite a quiet series. We credited Turbo with the hard work for the Game 2 victory for Gale Force. And Kate up after a, a rough Game 1, started scoring goals as we expect from him. But I do want to see more ground play from Violent Panda, more assists, because that is what he is known for. And my word, Kuxer and Mystic connect at the far post. Beautifully done by Mystic, because Kuxer had no angle to score from. But Mystic does. They've done it yet again. Just hold a back. Do not immediately start to rotate back to your side of the goal. And very impressive that it was Mystic, actually, as the player that decided to stick around. Must have noticed Kuxer coming in decided to take the shot. And the flip side tactics jump. are starting to look that much more dangerous as the pace suits them more and more, but that is going to be a high oh, land turbo. shot. Turbo Pulsar gets it just into the crossbar. Turbo Pulsar's positioning at the far post. So well done. Look at how he just peels away to the back post there because he knows it's likely that that's the angle where Flipside are going to clear towards. And he needed to air roll to get that shot back across into a position that would be unsavable. Really, really well done shot by Turbo. He continues for me to be the most impressive player on Gale Force in this Grand Finals. The Violent Panda does come into effect. The nice clear, not only getting the save, but also getting the ball to safety. Flipside still in the lead though. Not just in the series, but also in this game. Two to one in both cases. Oh, this might be a tight game though, and it is K-Dop. Capitalizes on a double commit from Flipside. Not just a double commit, but a double commit where no one is landing on the wall. Slow recoveries all round. And as always, K-Dop is first on the scene. K-Dop is like a viper, always ready to strike. Almost reads mistakes better than anyone else in Europe. He just understands and can see whenever someone goes for the ball, whether or not it is going to work out in his favor. So we are all tied up yet again. As Gale Force oh, tries to avoid her. two games deficit, but that goal will make it that much harder for them just after pulling back two goals they have conceded. Coxter was already moving forward there, understanding the possibility of Mystic clearing that ball straight into the ceiling, which is a dangerous thing to do. Mystic, of course, may have been going for a clear, which would have arced underneath the ceiling without touching it. Kuxer knows there's a possibility that it might make connection and come straight down into the danger area, but he turns what would have been a bad situation into a goal by being first on the scene, getting it over to the top of the final defender. And now Flipside are back in the lead, but for how long? At least a little bit longer. This gate up shot gets turned away. The first time we've seen those cutting passes Another getting used a little play. bit more, but Flipside Tactics holding down the wide angles, passing straight down the line and have managed to find themselves a couple of decent shots from that position. Still Gale Force. 
this is pretty much a two-game two game match for them. Yep. Winning this, they tie up. Losing, they find themselves two games down. And as you mentioned earlier, triple match point against Flipside Tactics. Not a position you want to be in, but they are struggling to position themselves for any sort of backboard touch. I just don't think they expect it. But Turbo Pulsar will take that. It pushes that straight down. And you can see both of his teammates immediately rotating back as soon as they knew Mystic had claimed possession of the ball. As both of them have committed, that is going to allow a shot from Marky Duda, who just puts it up high. Turbo Pulsar will use minimal boost. And now look for an opportunity. He's up. He's going to take the shot. He's oh going to put it word. in. Turbo Pulsar has tied us up. And this has been the most explosive game of this series. Turbo Pulsar makes the run. He didn't need to be downfield, but he knew that he, his team needs him to be downfield. Beautiful read of Violent Pandas clear. Air rolling upside down to get the ball as far away from the goalkeeper as possible. Turbo Pulsa continues to impress for Gale Force. Coming off the back of an RLCS Season 3 championship. Wants to make it double. But I have to say, Kuxer is causing problems for Gale Force. He has certainly upped his game from the semi-final performance against Diffuse Kids. But into overtime we go. Flipside Tactics will take early control of the ball. And they've spread boost either side of the middle to either team. So no one will get an advantage from that. Turbo Posse gets the block. There's going to be the follow-up, but immediately Mystic. There's that decision-making oh, on display yet again. Up. But Kayla will attempt to take it the entire way. But at no point did he slow down the boost. At no time did he change the arc. So Mystic could predict now off the backboard. Marcus Zula is by himself. Get He's got plenty crossbar. of boost to work with. And he will use that boost to clear it away. Gale Force, though, will wish they took the shot earlier. Marky, one of the players who turns off ball cam the most, but hold on. Violet Panda with the air dribble fake. He goes low, takes it underneath the goalkeeper. We have a tie series here. Kuxer, or Mystic, sorry, jumping way too high. He had respect for Violet Panda's mechanics. He knew the Panda could have carried that into the crossbar and down if he wanted to. These teams have got so much respect for each other. It's difficult to get their passing plays that they're so used to doing started. So we'll be looking out once again for those downfield passes. That is how Flipside took the lead in the game. Cuxer to Marky to the goal. And that is how Turbo Pulsa tied the game, making a run downfield. Something that we're not always used to seeing from these guys. But they know that they need to do something special. Oh my goodness, own goal of the tournament. Turbo Pulsa pre-jumps to try and intercept. Cuxer comes across from his blind spot. And Turbo Pulsa can't do anything but own goal. Oh no! You can see it. He, he stops tried. boosting and then he tries to boost immediately afterwards. Anything to try and avoid. Marky Duda knows it as well. This face tells a story. That has got to be the worst goal I have ever seen in a grand finals. Oh and my goodness, now it's a disaster. Gale Force need to forget about that. They tied the series, but now everything is going wrong. Turbo visibly shaken by that play. What has happened, Shogun? And this is something absolutely huge because we've seen it all tournament long. That leaking of goals. Infused did it earlier as well. Unable to put mistakes out of their mind. It comes down to how young the eSport is. It comes down to how little, how few times teams have been in this situation where they are just not used to making a mistake and just pushing it to the back of their minds. But it does look like Gale Force have managed to stop the leak, even if it is 20 seconds. That's usually all you need to go without conceding, although that might go long, and that... Oh, what a shot by Mystic. We thought the leak was plugged. Instead, it is just blown back open. Gale Forest tried to fight fire with fire, but unfortunately, they've left a huge gap at the back. Mystic's shot does not need to be close to the top corner to find the goal with comfort. Flipside 3-0. They lost a two-goal lead in the previous game. Now they hold on to a three-goal lead with much longer time remaining, but with a shaken Gale Force, a young team, a team perhaps who have yet to find their team captain. I've never had the pleasure of listening into their team comms. And I've never been able to ask any of them what it's like in the, in the team comms. I'm sure up until this point in the tournament, it's been all laughs and all fun because they've just been dominating everybody they play against. But it's a different story versus Flipside. Another shot for Mystic. 4-0 emphatic style. Flipside take the lead. 
Flipside have not managed to score this many goals in such short fashion since they took on Cowno's in the RLCS, scoring almost five goals within a single minute, the most we've ever seen in a high-level competitive match. Flipside Tactics are so good at exploiting weaknesses, and they have exploited a big one here in Gale Force. Effectively have shut down this entire match with three and a half minutes remaining. Of course, Gale Force fans will be complaining that playing two versus four in Rocket League is pretty hard. They want Turbo Pulsar to put his Gale Force jersey back on. Of course, they do have one more chance. If they cannot bring this game back from the brink, then they face double match point flip side. Not quite as bad as the prospect of triple match point, but still a difficult situation. Mystic reading Panda's hit forward. But like you said, they have to just put that behind them. They have to forget about the four goals they've conceded, especially the first one, because those don't matter anymore. The only thing that matters is can they make a comeback in this series? They need to win at least two games out of the two and a half that remain. That is the task that they have. And although it may grow harder as this game progresses, a young team like this have got very, very little time to figure out how they're going to go about completing that task. And usually the call from any team captain is just to say, imagine it's nil-nil. Play it like it's nil-nil. Keep trying to win the game, even if you can't, because it sets you up mm -hmm. for the next match. And that is exactly what I'm hoping someone on Gale Foster said. Obviously, we will not know who the in-game comm leader is because this is a team that is incredibly new. Well, Turbo Pulsar over to Violent Panda, who looks to try and take his time, but because it was straight on, unable to try and draw Mystic and cannot fake him either. I do like what Panda did, though. He identified his best scoring condition was to try and predict a pre-jump from the goalkeeper and just hit the brakes, take the ball behind him. Unfortunately for him, flip side, just remain solid. They remain sturdy in defense. Holding Gale Force to zero is a huge statement going into the grand for the potentially final game of the grand finals. And as we approach the last minute and 30 seconds, it does not look like Gale Force have a chance in game five here. They have to maybe start thinking ahead to game six and seven. Certainly could do as they I've definitely changed up a little bit. Now committing multiple players a little bit closer to each other rather than having those wide rotations. So that's going to be Turbo pushing it into the corner yet again. Gale Force mentally will just want to avoid conceding as well because they can just chalk that opening minute up just to an odd minute, an anomaly, something that doesn't happen. But if they concede yet again, mentally it becomes the entire game. That was a fail. I think it was an odd button press. I don't know why Turbo jumped. I just don't know what else he could say. It's a double jump, though. Like, yeah, but I, I don't, don't screw it up twice. I don't know why he why he jumped at all initially. It's, it's sometimes a case in Rocket League where someone will start to fly for something, and then since they've started, they think, I might as well finish. But we so saw, why was he in the air in the first place? We saw Magnus do the exact same thing. Actually, it was a lot yesterday did yeah. the exact same thing, where he jumped and ended up just walking straight into a ball. As Violent Panda attempted to take the shot, but a pre-jump from Mystic. It was such a weird angle from Turbo here. Like, I'd love to see it again. Not because I want to embarrass Turbo. I just want to see it from his perspective. What was he going for? I can only imagine he was trying to beat uh, the flip side players to the ball and hit it into his own crossbar or his own corner. But that, to me, shows a lack of faith in his team that we're already in position in defense. And we will have... At least two new champions, Turbo Pulsa, currently world champion, but Violet Panda and K-Dot would love to join him on the, the podium today, lifting the trophy as, oh my word, K-Dot looking to take a leaf out of Violet Panda's book and go off the wall into Flipside's goal. And if they could have scored that right there, that would have been absolutely massive for them. They're going to get one almost, oh my but word, Mystic, Mystic can just read everything so perfectly right in the way. Flipside tactics will not allow any momentum to be gained by Gale Force, who are coming up on almost seven minutes without a goal. If we do go to a game seven, a lot of people would think Gale Force are then the favorites. Because they have to win game six to get there. And that means that they're going to be winning the game before the final game. So in some ways, this is almost a clean slate. 
They just have to focus on this game and this game alone. Try not to worry about the two games. Oh, Mystic understeers. But luckily, nobody on the pitch expected that one. Did he just forget what the handbrake was? What happened there? Maybe his finger slipped off the key. The, things like this can happen. To be fair, palms will be sweaty right now. It's Gale Force and Flipside Tactics still all tied up. Mystic is going to put that up high. Turbo Pulsar really wants a piece of that, but Cooks here turns the Batmobile around and it effectively creates a wall just to try and bounce the ball off. However, Gale Force, it's like they know that they need a goal just to mentally recoup and we'll throw anything goal. at it. Yeah. They do not get the next goal. That is a really worrying thing. With Flipside defending so well, we've seen some clutch saves from Mystic and Coxer already this game in the first minute and 30 seconds. And now Flipside want to test the goalkeeping of Gale Force once more. It's Coxer easily stopped this time by K-Dot. I think Marky's seen that one before from uh, Turbo. He doesn't want to see a repeat. Although Turbo will be up field. Violent Panda now going to be off the wall, but a clap onto the side of the wall from Kuxir. Completely took the ball away from him. Now Turbo Pulsar looks to get off that backboard. It will not work. Mystic has Hopefully that covered tight. and launches it into the other side of the field. Now Kuxir tried to take it around, but Violent Panda rotates. Into net, shot on target, Turbo Pulsar has to save, Mystic now Mystic. up, puts it down, over to the side, it's oh. rolling on the goal line, and now Flipside Tactics have got to try and keep going, but Gale Force low on boost around here, we've already seen Flipside Tactics deal with this before, and Gale Force have survived. So close to perfection from Mystic, and I'm sure it would have been so fitting for the new boy, the new face on Flipside to get that goal that would potentially win them the tournament. But no, another save from KDOP. He's denied Kuxer multiple times this game and Marky whiffed it. That's gonna give a chance to Turbo. The first mistake comes at the hands of Flipside. Words cannot describe just how big that goal is. Gale Force end the streak, end the slope that they have been on, have managed to put themselves up in a game that they must win. Still plenty of time, of course, for flip side. They've had to make more difficult comebacks <laughs> this day already than a simple one goal comeback, but not against such tough competition. And it has been Gale Force who have looked the more threatening, despite the fact that Mystic's shot was ridiculously close to finding the back of the net earlier. I'm sure that will not be the last close one that we see coming from flip side as we enter the final 90 seconds here. Attempted block by Violent Panda. He has been beat. Flipside Tactics will want to try and score it. That is going pass. to be an opportunity. All three players have committed to that. Turbo Pulsar just wants to push it into the side after he saw Marky Duda already on the rotation back. Marky did land facing his own net. So was able to get back pretty quickly. As Kadop is lingering on that side wall. Now Violent Panda has been beat by Turbo Pulsar. Always rotating in with at least a little bit of speed. So he just has to boost a tiny amount and he would be one of the faster players towards the ball. As Turbo is going to predict that, and he has done so, looking for the follow-up. He's just basically going to pass that straight into Kukse, who Kadop was trying to block. Follow-up from Violent Panda, that is still dangerous, but Marky Duda pushes it back in. Kukse will only have Kadop to beat. Kadop actually, poor touch from him, shot comes over. Oh, another and one. that is going to roll to the other side of the field. Gale Force, take a deep breath. They have gone got away of it yet again. Gale Force in some ways getting away with murder here. So many times they're clearing the ball right towards a flip side tactics player. Kuxer perfectly reading Kate up on the last attempt. But the game remains tied until now. It all happens so fast. One pass, one shot, one goal. Violet Panda and Turbo both up. Neither of them able to get close to the ball. And Coxer is the one to tie this, the game and look to take the series in six games. 13 seconds remain. Will we see a heroic effort or are we going to overtime? Oh, it is flip mistake. side. You have the last chance. Oh! Marky takes it. It's gone straight in. Marky Duda takes advantage. And yet again, Gale Force make one mistake. They follow it up with another mistake. And that 
could be the championship for Flipside Tactics. Five seconds remain. Can Gale Force do the impossible? Kickoff goes towards their half. No one is there. Two seconds. We're now into high ball time. If this ball hits the ground, it does. That is the championship for Flipside. And we will have at least two new champions, Turbo Pulsa, currently world champion, but Violent Panda and K-Dop would love to join him on the, the podium today, lifting the trophy as, oh my word, K-Dop looking to take a leaf out of Violent Panda's book and go off the wall into Flipside's goal. And if they could have scored that right there, that would have been absolutely massive for them. They're going to get one almost, oh my but word, Mystic, Mystic can just read everything so perfectly right in the way. Flipside Tactics will not allow any momentum to be gained by Gale Force, who are coming up on almost seven minutes without a goal. If we do go to a game seven, a lot of people would think Gale Force are then the favorites. Because they have to win game six to get there. And that means that they're going to be winning the game before the final game. So in some ways, this is almost a clean slate. They just have to focus on this game and this game alone. Try not to worry about the two games. Oh, Mystic understeers. But luckily, nobody on the pitch expected that one. Did he just forget what the handbrake was? What happened there? Maybe his finger slipped off the key. The, things like this can happen. To be fair, palms will be sweaty right now. It's Gale Force and Flipside Tactics still all tied up. Mystic is going to put that up high. Turbo Pulsar really wants a piece of that, but Cooks here turns the Batmobile around and it effectively creates a wall just to try and bounce the ball off. However, Gale Force, it's like they know that they need a goal just to mentally recoup and will throw anything goal. at it. Yeah. They do not get the next goal. That is a really worrying thing. With Flipside defending so well, we've seen some clutch saves from Mystic and Coxer already this game in the first minute and 30 seconds. And now Flipside want to test the goalkeeping of Gale Force once more. It's Coxer easily stopped this time by K-Dop. I think Marky's seen that one before from uh, Turbo. He doesn't want to see a repeat. Although Turbo will be up field. Violent Panda now going to be off the wall, but a clap onto the side of the wall from Kuxir. Completely took the ball away from him. Now Turbo Pulsar looks to get off that backboard. It will not work. Mystic has Perfectly that covered timed. and launches it into the other side of the field. Now Kuxir tried to take it around, but Violent Panda rotates into net, shot on target, Turbo Posta has to save, Mystic now Mystic. up, puts it down, over to the side, it's oh. rolling on the goal line, and now Flipside Tactics have got to try and keep going, but Gale Force low on boost around here, we've already seen Flipside Tactics deal with this before, and Gale Force have survived. So close to perfection from Mystic, and I'm sure it would have been so fitting for the new boy, the new face on Flipside, to get that goal that would potentially win them the tournament. But no, another save from KDOP. He's denied Kuxer multiple times this game and Marky whiffed it. That's gonna give a chance to Turbo. The first mistake comes at the hands of Flipside. Words cannot describe just how big that goal is. Gale Force end the streak, end the slope that they have been on, have managed to put themselves up in a game that they must win. Still plenty of time, of course, for flip side. They've had to make more difficult comebacks <laughs> this day already than a simple one goal comeback, but not against such tough competition. And it has been Gale Force who have looked the more threatening, despite the fact that Mystic's shot was ridiculously close to finding the back of the net earlier. I'm sure that will not be the last close one that we see coming from flip side as we enter the final 90 seconds here. Attempted block by Violent Panda. He has been beat. Flipside Tactics will want to try to score it. That is going pass. to be an opportunity. All three players have committed to that. Turbo Pulsar just wants to push it into the side after he saw Marky Duda already on the rotation back. Marky did land facing his own net. So was able to get back pretty quickly. As k is lingering on that side wall. Now Violent Panda has been beat by Turbo Pulsar. Always rotating in with at least a little bit of speed. So he just has to boost a tiny amount and he would be one of the faster players towards the ball. As Turbo is going to predict that, and he has done so, looking for the follow-up. He's just basically going to pass that straight into 
Kux there, who KDOT was trying to block. Follow up from Violent Panda. That is still dangerous, but Maki Duda pushes it back in. Kux there will only have KDOT to beat. KDOT actually, poor touch from him. Shot comes over. Oh, another and one. That is going to roll to the other side of the field. Gale Force, take a deep breath. They have gone, got away of it yet again. Gale Force, in some ways, getting away with murder here. So many times they're clearing the ball right towards a flip side tactics player. Cux are perfectly reading Kate up on the last attempt. But the game remains tied until now. It all happens so fast. One pass, one shot, one goal. Violet Panda and Turbo both up. Neither of them able to get close to the ball. And Coxer is the one to tie this, the game and look to take the series in six games. 13 seconds remain. Will we see a heroic effort or are we going to overtime? Oh, it is flip mistake. side. We have the last chance. And oh! Marky takes it. It's gone straight in. Marky Duda takes advantage. And yet again, Gale Force make one mistake. They follow it up with another mistake. And that could be the championship for Flipside Tactics. Five seconds remain. Can Gale Force do the impossible? Kickoff goes towards their half. No one is there. Two seconds, we're now into high ball time. If this ball hits the ground, it does. That is the championship for Flipside.